welcome to my channel being you now thank you so much for being with me here today today I'm doing your next six months reading I feel like it's only timely and fair to do that now that we're in June so this gives you an outlook of what's happening between the middle of this year till the end of this year so we're talking about 2024 the next six months so give or take end of December now I'm working with six different decks so I highly recommend that you stay till the end and this is really powerful because the, this is a very unusual read. I have done other three-month reads and six-month reads for you in the past, but not with these decks and not the way this has been channeled. So let's see. What's your overall energy for the next six months? Stay till the end. That's how this reading is going to make sense. As I said, I'm really loving this new setup because that also means that I have more room to show you all the cards that are coming up. So two want to come up here. So let's see, I'm going to do that to be honest because I don't want this reading to go on forever. The final row is your good stuff, wow. <laughs> so we're in the good stuff, this is your final row for the good stuff, they, these cards flew out so I'm going to take them because they're meant for you. So it will be good, the final row will be good no matter what. Okay, so what do we have? In your energy, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So Knight of Pentacles is about slow and steady wins the race. So the next six months is all about building things that will last. This is no, there are no shortcuts. And I know that Aries being Aries, I'm a triple Aries if we haven't met. Hi, wonderful to meet you. So Aries being Aries, fire sign, patience is not our strongest suit, but the Knight of Pentacles is exactly saying that. That sometimes... If you want to build something, if you want to build a legacy, if you want a relationship that lasts, slow and steady is the way to go. So the next six months, that's, it's all about, it's not let's get rich, quick schemes, none of those things. It's about slow and steady, building something that will last. It's all about going the distance and investing time, energy and resources into things that really matter for you that are going to bring ongoing rewards so this is look at that he's got a field and once he it's about when you you can see if he plants seeds there he's not going to see the results tomorrow or in a week's time or a couple of weeks time depending on also what he's plant, planting this is about tending to the soil nurturing the soil watering it and the plants growing slowly slowly and then it's going to bear fruits and it's going to bring in the harvest and that's kind of the vibe all right i mean <laughs> Hey Aries, if you are wondering whether money, whether your luck is going to turn, good luck is coming your way. Money is coming your way. Abundance, prosperity, wealth is coming your way. Windfalls are coming your way. These next six months are your lucky months. Now, Jupiter is in Gemini at the moment. And a lot of you, which is your third house. So now, you, whatever you've planted, these two cards as well, whatever you've planted, you'll start to see the fruits of your labor coming towards you in the next six months. So that's whatever, you know, if you've had a passion project that you were working on and things were slow, with the Wheel of Fortune, things will be gaining momentum. It, you will start to see movement in the direction that you desire. Seven of Cups. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? Like you've got three pentacle cards show up here. So Aries, your message is very simple. If you want to make money your best friend, and if you are working on gaining more abundance, wealth, and prosperity, Spirit is saying you, your next six months are highly crucial for you as it relates to money, as it relates to long-term success, as it relates to lasting legacy. So this is, you know, you building wealth for yourself and your loved ones, you having a retirement fund, you putting money aside for some travel, you putting money aside to buy a house, or you've bought a house. This is all about long-term commitments, financial stability, and security. So that's what your focus will be on. And you have options, lots of different options to make money, but you need to be very careful in terms of what is real and what's an illusion. So just be mindful of that in the next six months because the seven of cups, not all cups are viable. Some will bring you success and others are just distractions. So be mindful of distractions in the next six months. All right. So in terms of the next six months, 
be careful about being too much in your mind now with the knight of pentacles and the eight of um, swords right next to each other this is the classic example where when when aries doesn't see results doesn't see that things are gaining momentum what does aries do gets in their mind oh this is not working becomes impatient throws a towel that's this is the, these two cards are saying do the opposite it's about being persistent you may not see she is blindfolded you may not see but you need to control that mental chatter so work on your mindset in the next six months that's going to really help you keeping your mindset in point and in check is how you're going to unlock this king of pentacles and the will of fortune the hermit yeah it's about introspection to quieten the mind what do you need to do to quieten the mind i picked the first word that was shown to me so i do a lot of channeling as well if you have been in my world i'm a highly intuitive and i work with lots of different modalities i use the cards but i also get shown images sounds lots of other ways that i get information so the word journaling so somebody here needs to write their thoughts their feelings journaling is going to be very helpful in the next six months for you particularly if you're too much in your head also working with this the hermit card the the other word that was shown to me is sage a wise sage work with coaches and mentors the next six months if you really want to unlock because when you work with experts that's how your knight of pentacles is going to move quicker there are certain things you can't see there are certain things you don't know and that's okay not to know everything work with people that are wise have wisdom have experience surround yourself with those people and that's how you're going to unlock your success and the wheel will be moving quickly in the direction that you desire now be careful um again in this role you've got a lot of swords so be careful of who you're surrounding yourself with particularly with the hermit card major arcana these two little little people eight of swords and the five of swords to me in the next six months don't get caught up in trivial matters don't get caught up in you know other people like gossip the word gossip is being shown up there may be people around you that are into gossiping into you know things that are not in alignment to you you might have grown and you know how you grow and evolve not everyone's on the same journey as you these cards are saying to me that it's okay to be a loner. It's okay to disconnect from people who are not vibing at your level. Because if you are surrounding, that's the seven, it's right next to the seven of cups, right? So if you hang out with people that are like that, that's one of the cups. You're giving your energy to this sort of mindset. And that's not taking you closer to your king of pentacles and your will of fortune. So it's about being mindful and discerning. The hermit, people often see the hermit as a loner. To be honest, I'd rather be alone than surround myself with people that are not in alignment. That's just me. You take how how you will. This is a collective read, not a one-to-one, -one, and free will prevails. So you do what you do, you boo. You do you. If you want a personal read, it's the first link in the description box. All right. Let's see. What have we got um, in the good stuff? So, yeah, there is something I like this. You've got this. You've got the knight, two knights surrounding this eight of swords i like it it's almost like this knight of sword wants to release you from the blindfold and that, that can only happen if you shift your mindset and the moment you shift your mindset this other knight's going to start moving it as well the reason why this knight, knight is not moving and is stationary is because you are staying stuck if you stay stuck if you choose not to see things how is this knight ever going to move because this knight, knight doesn't know do i go left right straight which way do i go i don't know and so this knight of swords is saying it's time to clear your mind. It's time to let go of people, places, situations that are not serving you. In the good stuff, it's about releasing. It's about freedom. It's about quick momentum and movement, which is very much what Aries likes. Aries is a fire sign. And um, Aries likes to keep moving, keep the momentum. So this, I love this because one is not moving, the other one's moving. In the good stuff, their movement is available. Movement, progress achievement and success is available it's about deciding and releasing yourself the devil i look at this you've got three major arcanas so here i feel like somebody here is definitely in the good stuff with the devil and these three cards you are releasing a major karmic or toxic relationship situationship could be job whatever it is for you you know your story with these three cards i really like that you've done the inner work you've done the healing work and now you're like you know what 
I am not going, I'm not available for this person, this is situationship, this relationship. It's not serving me. Now, if this is someone you've let go for a long period of time, I feel like in the next six months you will fully heal and that's karma. The more you heal and do inner work on yourself, what, it, what happens? You are growing and evolving, then you meet your match. So the devil becomes a positive. That means that be, you've fully released and healed yourself. Now, if you're looking for energy healing, if you want chakra healing, crystal healing, any of those things, you can email me. Those are things I work with my private clients on and I do provide those sessions. The devil card with this as well, particularly the wheel of fortune. So say, for example, if you have been wanting to travel for a long period of time, but you felt stuck, maybe stuck in a job, stuck financially, all that is about to change. The other thing with these two cards also is say, for example, if you have some toxic, you know, addictions, it doesn't always have to be toxic. Say you want to give up smoking or you want to give up um, alcohol or, you know, at, and at any form of addiction of substance or whatever it is, or even thought patterns. You have a lot of thought pattern stuff happening. You are releasing and freeing yourself from it. So I really, really like that with this here. Now, for others of you, it could be as simple as maybe you are looking after your health and well-being better. Maybe with the devil, you know, you resorted to too many lollies or chocolates or, you know, had ended up having a sweet tooth. Now with this, you recognize those patterns and you're breaking free. So I love that. Oh my golly gosh, are you kidding me? Love, love, love this. Somebody here, congratulations, you're getting married, engaged, or you might be going, getting an invitation in the next six months to go to a wedding, um, an engagement party, or this could even be you. If you are in a long-term committed relationship, maybe your partner, male, female, whatever, whatever it is, pops the question, or you may decide to move in together. And this is going to happen very, very quickly. Now, all this pentacles makes perfect sense this might have been slow moving for a lot of you maybe your partner was um you know maybe circumstances warranted that you needed to take time and all of a sudden bang it happens and happens very very quickly for others of you this could be you buying your own home or moving in um, to your dream or doing your dream job which allows you to work from home or it could even be a successful completion of a project maybe there was a project you were working for working on or working for for a long period of time it could also be study um is what i'm picking up so maybe you were doing a qualification and finally in the next six months you will be successfully completing it so congratulations this is amazing epic great news now let's um i'll pull a card from the archangel michael deck first okay two one to come out so let's do that Archangel Michael is with you now. Wow. Claim this. In the next six months, you are highly protected. Claim this. I am divinely protected. If, even though you can't see it, I'm actively working on this situation. I'm here and helping you. Claim, claim, claim this beautiful blessing in comments. Oh my golly gosh. Your prayers are being answered. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, this is a beautiful reading. This is a beautiful reading. I'm happy as an Aries. I hope you are too. You let me know. Your prayers are being received by the divine. Answers will come soon, although perhaps in forms you didn't expect. I feel, go and watch the entire reading if you have just joined us. I feel like this whole reading is talking about that. Now, let's see. What are some significant months for you? Let's see if there are any significant months or time frames. Oh, wow. We have literally half the deck that's fallen off. Tomorrow is flipped over, so... Hey, tomorrow, what's happening tomorrow? Take a break. Can't make this up. Okay. Let's see if there are any others. We are not doing half the deck, folks. Don't worry. We are not. Are there any other time frames that are important for my beautiful Aries in the next six months? Well, I can't I can't make it up. Okay, so we have tomorrow did come out again. So tomorrow, whenever you're watching this, tomorrow could be significant. Maybe you get some important, significant news you've been waiting for. Um, and I see tomorrow as all your tomorrows. You, you know, what you do today, what seeds you plant today will impact your tomorrows. And I feel like that's kind of what this message is saying. In less than a month, they, oh my goodness, Lord, look at that, June. In less than a month. So if you're waiting for some form of significant 
news information i love 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 this and um if you've if you've had a question say for example you know in a week or whatever whatever your question might have been it's as later than you think so say for example you applied for a job and um you've been waiting and you're like oh will i hear about the job tomorrow it could be maybe not tomorrow maybe in a week's time type thing so just take what resonates for you this is a collective read not a one-to-one -one read now i have been guided to work with the healing heart i know my aries when it comes to love a lot of you have said you've had a lot of heartbreak heartache and healing and um, i just wanted to pull some cards for you for the next six months because i know a lot of my aries collective are now ready to love again which is amazing so thank you for sharing your comments and if you didn't know i'll do offer love readings whether it's an ex-lover twin flame new relationship new love or current relationship you can just hashtag love or get all the information in the description box check out the description box there are lots of resources there as well if you haven't already okay so the first one we have is number seven curious heart dear heart i absolutely adore when you show your cheeky curious spirit i love your desire to learn discover and co-create I know that whenever you encounter something that inspires you, you swell up with joy, color, and juiciness. You encourage me to try new things. Give me forward and challenge, guide me forward and challenge me to become more daring. And when I listen, I become light, energized, and full of aliveness. How gorgeous is this? I feel incredible when you are truly connected, yet I tend to ignore you, become over serious, and sweat the small stuff. No Aries, we're not doing that. Look at how gorgeous this is. Look at that little heart. I'm sorry for neglecting you and making you feel like everything else is more important than exploring and learning. I know now that curiosity can lead me to the discovery of my own unique nature and the most thrilling adventures. Dear heart, please open yourself to me so I can embark on our greatest adventure together. Amazing. So one of your um, your light activation healing is do something interesting and fun to explore this and when doubt arises then doubt the doubt i love that doubt the doubt so tell me what is fun and interesting that you're going to do in the next week let's say let's say next week share it and let's amplify that oh betrayed heart look at that did i not say that or what so this is number 10. The other one was number seven. That could be significant. Risk opening up to life and love. Aries, Spirit has just shown me in big bold letters. Life's too short. Life's too short to be keeping your heart and life closed off. And love is a gift. Someone needs to hear that. Okay. Dear heart, I know that you can incredibly loving, soft and giving. Now and then you put your trust into those who can care about implicitly, even when they are signs to the contrary. You forgave their hurtful deeds and unkind words and occasionally even turn a blind eye to their untruthfulness. At times you get caught so unaware by the harmful and even cruel actions of those you love that you erupt or even shatter into small pieces. I am sending you a huge hug. I know how deeply deceit and betrayal can sting, dear heart. It literally bring you to your knees and stop you from trusting, opening or growing. I can cut you off from joy. It can cut you off from joy and even your spirit nature. Betrayal can either crush you or it can allow you to learn, mature and flourish. The time has come when you must decide in which direction you want to go. Do you want to hide, protect and limit? Or are you ready to be courageous and risk opening yourself up to new aspects of life and love even if it's not easy so here's your activation observe fractured parts pieces and repair and transform them energetically and put them back in your heart place your hands on your heart and focus on the positives that have come out of your painful experience oh my goodness sending everyone a huge hug okay so we've done that 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 let's see what you are manifesting what do you think of this read? It's a pretty wholesome read, isn't it? I love it. Next six months, manifestation for my beautiful, gorgeous Aries. What are they manifesting? What are they manifesting? What are they manifesting? Let's see. What have we got? All the money I want is obtainable for me. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, I say. <laughs> 
I have a partner who is happy to listen to me. I mean, it all starts with communication in a relationship, doesn't it, really? If there's no communication, there is no relationship. Ooh, I have a partner who shares the same interests as me. Amen. Now, let's get you some tea leaves before we close out. Now, if you desire personal read, it's the first link in the description box. If you desire love reading, just hashtag love, or you can get info in the description box. I do do ex-lover, twin flame, new relationship, new love, and um, also current relationship. Let's see, tea leaves for the next six months for my gorgeous, beautiful, glorious Aries. Thank you to everyone that subscribed. I really appreciate you. If you haven't, just hit that bell button. It's completely free for you. That way it lets you know when the next reading becomes available. But more importantly, it lets me know that you want me to continue bringing these readings to you, which is very important for me. Valley, deep personal strength and peace that assures success. Amen. So it's about strength and peace. Cracked cup. Dissatisfaction with life. So be careful of that. Claw. Be careful. Do not take risks. I think it's about calculated risks, and I think that's kind of what the reading was saying. Go watch the start if you haven't. Camel, persevere, and you will overcome problems. Like this is triple confirmation. Bag, something important, such as new job or a raise. Congratulations. You've got it, Aries. You've got it in the bag. Go get it. I mean, your, your cards were just purse. Oh, my gosh. Pay attention to your finances. Lots of money cards and um, you're reading like, hello. Fox, shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. Ooh, lots of business messages. Of course, you are the king of wands, so not, not surprising. Fair woman, dealing so relationship with a woman with blonde, gray or white hair. So there you go. I feel like it could also be like a motherly figure if it's not romantic. I just picked that someone who's wise, he oozes wisdom as well. Cobweb, protected from negative forces beyond your control. Amen. Triple confirmation. Dark man, dealing to a relationship with a man with dark complexion or hair. Whale, great worry over nothing. That's a good card. So no need to worry. Oh my goodness. Butterfly, a change for the better. Amen. Next six months, change for, for the better. That was your final card. Aries, thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here. Truly, if you desire a personal read, it's the first link in the description box. If you desire to work with me on Money Mind Reset, email me. All my information is in the description box. And remember, Aries, the power that is you by being you now. I will see you next time.